I'm finally gonna let myself out of the closet. Um, I'm like a little nervous. Like, look at this, my ears are red. My ears are turning red. Anyway. Okay. All right, hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I am Asha Velez and I am so pleased to have you back here. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Just hit that button, hit the button right now. Just hit subscribe because you're gonna fall in love with me and it is what it is. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, no, I'm not kidding. But anyway, if you're back because you are a subscriber and you knew I was gonna be on my channel today, you'll notice that I have changed my studio into a whole different place or space in my home because the other one was obsolete and I think I like this one better anyway. So. Today, what are we going to be talking about? We're going to be talking about my 2021 goals. It is not too late for change. That is right. It is not too late for change. I know it's like February 20th, and so many of us have probably given up on like those New Year's resolutions or those goals. But we don't have to wait for the beginning of the year or the end of the year or the middle of the year to do what it is we want to do. And so I'm finally going to let myself out of the closet and I'm gonna tell you guys what this YouTube channel is actually going to be about. Um, I'm like a little nervous to say what it's about because every time I've tried to think about like, how do you make this more interesting? Like, how do you make it less exhausting and like less, you know, gut-wrenching? I, I, I can't think of a way, I can't think of a way. I'm just gonna give up and I'm finally gonna say what this YouTube channel is going to be about. So. This YouTube channel is going to be about becoming more environmentally friendly. This is why I'm going to be changing it to an eco journey because that's what it is. It's a freaking journey. If you live on this planet already for like 20, 25 years, 30 years, you are already like jellified. Like your whole life, your mind, your state of being is just like a certain way and it's gonna be really hard to change. And if you don't change or if I don't change or if we don't change, things are not gonna get any better. Like have you seen the news about Texas? I thought it was a little cold. I wasn't really watching the news. I don't watch the news as much as I should. But like it's freezing there like the turtles showed up and thought they were gonna be like basking in the Sun and they were like freezing they were about to die like the people living there are suffering like their houses are being flooded by their own pipe water things are not gonna get any better unless we individually make the choices to change because if we wait on the government the government is literally waiting for economists to decide if it's profitable to save earth like that's what people are waiting for. So without further ado, I don't want to keep drilling that into your head. That's what this channel is going to be about, my eco journey. So basically, you guys can vicariously live through me and watch all of my gut-wrenching, difficult experiments with things like, um, okay, here's one of them. Things like this right here. This is, if it ever decides to focus, hold on, I'll tell you. This right here is a product that I kind of like experimented with, but you guys get the point. It's deodorant. It's in this glass jar and it has an aluminum lid, but like this is one of the things that you have to switch over to. It's not that you switch over to organic deodorant because you worry about the aluminum. I mean, that's not why I want to switch. I want to switch because you can't find regular deodorant in a package that isn't plastic. So here's something I'm going to be experimenting with. Like, does this shit work? Is it good? Am I going to like it? Like, how bad is the sweating situation? But I'm not going to get into it because those are all like different videos. I just, like I said, I want to scratch the surface and show you guys what the goals are going to be. Have you guys seen any of these? Have you guys? This is a menstrual cup. Like, I can't tell you about like how cringy it feels to think that this might give me some kind of like vagina infection. Oh, here's another one. Have you guys seen this? This is on Amazon. It's basically shampoo, but it comes in a, in a cardboard box and then it comes in another cardboard box. And this cardboard box has a little bar of soap in it. And this bar of soap is actually it smells kind of good and it's shampoo this is shampoo there I mean like paper is recyclable you can reuse it you can compost it and like does this shit work is it gonna clean my hair am I gonna smell good when it's over and what am I gonna do about conditioner why am I thinking about these things I'm not saying that all plastic is bad I'm just saying like the government deciding to increase gas prices isn't gonna be enough to save this planet it just ain't have you guys ever seen the movie Wally, -E, where like there's mountains of garbage everywhere? It's because of this. It's because of plastic. Because we use single-use plastic. So 
So that's going to be a part of my experiment, okay? So if you guys want to see me torment myself so you won't have to, just stick around and I will experiment and be 100% legit what works, what doesn't. And I'm also going to ask you guys if you guys have made any of these changes. If some of them are more successful for you than they are for me, like, let me know because I really want to make this work. Like, I think that if, you know, regular people, a part of a whole different community, decided to jump on the boat and be environmentally friendly, we might actually have, you know, the ability to succeed at saving Earth. Um, because let's just face it, people like Elon Musk and 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 and, uh, and Jeff Bezos are all going to get into a rocket and leave to Mars and the rest of us are going to be screwed here on Earth. So um, think about that for a minute. I know I'm being dramatic, but really, am I? Am I being dramatic? Or is like, is this shit real, people? This shit is real. Anyway. So, a couple more things that are going to be happening is sewing. You're probably thinking, what the heck does sewing have to do with being environmentally friendly or becoming more like eco-friendly? It actually has a lot to do with a lot of things. So let me give you an example. Um, you see this, again, I don't know how to sew either. I have just been learning how to sew. I've been uh, teaching myself or going to classes. I've been um, dibbling and dabbling, getting a lot wrong, but getting a lot right too. But this is a sewing pattern right here. You see this? And I am dying to make this like slutty dress. I mean, I don't, I don't know if it's really slutty, but I mean, I'm dying to make it. And the first thing that happens when you become, um, when you become someone who sews is that you want to buy yourself a shit ton of fabric. I know because I've already kind of gotten sucked into that because fabric is just like, it's like stationary, you know, it's just like paper. Like it's like, it's like buying an absorbent amount of lipstick. It's just like you, you keep buying it and you keep buying it and you keep buying it. And then you realize to yourself, oh my God, like I was trying to save the planet. What was I thinking? Which I haven't gone that far, but, 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 but you understand my point so um, one of the great things about learning how to sew is that you can upcycle your stuff you can actually take your old clothes and turn it into new stuff so I'm gonna give you a really good example this is the dress that I want to sew and I'm gonna be using these old curtains so here are the curtains it's like white and purple and I'm gonna use that to turn it into the dress because instead of going out to buy more fabric I already have fabric like it's fabric. How about top sheets? Do you guys use top sheets? Please comment below. Do you use top sheets? Do you even know what top sheets are? Please, if you use top sheets, explain it to me. I don't get it. Like, I never use them. And that is a shit ton of fabric that has been sitting in my closet forever. Like, forever. I never use it. The minute I open up the blanket and sheet packet and I see the top sheet, I'm just like, ha back in the closet and all I do is take the pillowcases and the actual bedspread that's all I ever use these are all things that are fabric so making stuff out of my old clothes just makes me so much happier than giving it away to the wrong agency or throwing it away which is absolutely the worst thing you could possibly do so much energy goes into making our clothes not just from the people but from the resources we're literally sucking out of the planet so I'm also going to talk to you about other really big fads like changing over to uh, changing over from plastic straws to other kinds of straws. I'm going to see if that's even comfortable. And don't tell me that straws are not necessary. If you like to have some like Bacardi and Coke like I do, or if you like to have a nice cold drink with ice in it, you cannot comfortably drink that drink without a straw. Like don't play, okay? You don't need a straw to drink out of a Snapple, but you definitely need a straw to drink out of any cup that has ice in it. Because if you don't, like, you're, like you, you drink and like the ice just starts to hit your lips and then you just really can't enjoy your drink because you're just sucking in air instead of actual drink. So don't tell me straws aren't necessary. They're necessary. Do they have to be plastic? We will see. We will see. If it's actually worth buying yourself a bamboo straw or a stainless steel straw, like, I don't know. But I'm going to take myself down this rabbit hole because I really feel like... <sighs> I'm gonna let myself more out of the closet. Like, I'm Puerto Rican. For a long time, I felt like that was just shit hipsters did. And I found hipsters really annoying. And I really, I feel bad. Like, it's a confession of mine. Like, I'm sorry. I found them really rude and annoying. Like, it's not my fault that they were. I owned a restaurant in Brooklyn. They were always there. They would be like, they wouldn't wear deodorant. They were vegetarians that ate chicken burritos. Like, it wasn't my fault. They were just a fucking annoying. But they, they, they were on the right track. You know, they were really trying to make a difference. And um, they would, they would be, they would get happy when we would have compostable straws and compostable plates and stuff like that and I was happy too I just found them annoying and now I am not a hipster 
uh, per se, but I really feel that people that are not a part of like these subcultures, like every everyday people have to take up take up this 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 risk and try something new and like break away from Procter and Gamble products and we have to break away from all the plastic that we love because all the shit we consume is actually wrapped up in it like we have to and not just the plastic but a lot of other things we have to learn to let go because if we don't let go the government is going to start making these choices for us and I don't want the government to make all my choices for me but as shit gets more dangerous as fires get bigger floods get deeper hurricanes get bigger you know all of these things are a sign that what we're doing isn't working out so I, all of the things that I mentioned today are going to be linked below and it hasn't happened yet but I am actually going to be launching a brand new website it is ecojourneynyc.com where you guys can either read about it my experiences I will try to make as many videos as I do some blog entries I might make more videos than blog entries it depends on what like motivates me but I'm gonna have a lot of the products that I think are very successful on there so you guys can purchase it if you don't actually find it in my videos you're gonna see me in blogs on there writing about my experience where I might actually go into more detail because there's just some things that are not very successful to talk about on YouTube and like one of those things are periods although women are humans and things happen to us like nobody wants to hear about it but you might want to actually read about what this like menstrual cup experience is going to be like so look out for my website i'm going to write it over here it is ecojourneynyc.com you can find me on instagram too at ecojourneynyc and i think i have a facebook page also anyway so i love you guys this is my goal. It is never too late for change. And I really hope that you guys join me on this little adventure. And like comment below if you guys have already started this. Like have you already started this? How many swaps have you made? Like is your swap a bidet? Is your swap just like getting rid of kitchen counter towels? Like what's your swap? What's been your best and most successful swap? Like, have you swapped something and now that you think about it, you didn't even realize you've been doing it all this time? Comment below. I love you. I will see you again. This is Asha Velez signing out. Ciao, bacalao. Goodbye for now.